it got cancelled literally three hours before the flight. Then you slice it and then you eat it. Last three liters of water. Amazing choices of my life. Could you be a little bit more dramatic? <sighs> Good morning guys and welcome to my very first vlog. Today I will take you with me to my very first flight after four months of lockdown in the UK. Hi, also from me. I will be judging anything that she says and also give you some backstory because for some reason she didn't tell you half of the things that she had to. For a start, don't forget to subscribe because it really means a lot to both of us. I will be flying from London to my hometown, Sofia. I will take you to this amazing journey that we don't know how it's gonna end. You might have seen my packing video by now. If you have seen my packing video and you're wondering why I'm not going to Greece, well, it's because while I was packing, my flight got cancelled, like literally while I was filming the video. So in the end, I decided to go back to my hometown, Sofia, and after that, go by car to Greece, which was also a bit of an adventure. I have my backpack that it's full of stuff. You don't say a backpack full of stuff. Also my suitcase. And this is all I'm going to bring for a whole month. And now I'm going to take the bus to go to Luton Airport with Ben. And honestly, it feels so weird. I've been walking like those single streets every single day for four months. Now I'm leaving. But like, oh my God, finally. And here Ben is trying to entertain me while I'm in the bus waiting for it to leave and he's making some sketches. Let's see what I think he's doing. What is he trying to say? Oh, I think he's making pizza. I hope you can get it. And then you slice it. And then Let's see his theory on what was he actually doing. I was actually trying to tell Vasi that like, I was gonna make some chicken. So I'm gonna like open it stuff it put it in the oven close the oven with a little bit and then eat it and she got pizza which is, which is close enough you know guys i don't know how much you can see but there are like six people in the whole bus including me and usually it's four and also the streets are quite empty A little update from I'm at Luton the city but it turns out that now I have to take a shuttle which takes you to the airport and they were like oh no don't worry it's just like two minutes with the bus yeah but the bus it's like every half an hour so yeah now I have to wait for 20 minutes here I just arrived and it's kind of surreal it's like super empty let's look around especially because now it's July and usually at this time there are like thousands of flights and people basically these are all the flights for the day look at them it's not I really have to go to the bathroom because I ate watermelon for breakfast which was literally the worst idea when you don't know when is the next time that you have bathroom around so yeah plus three liters of water amazing choices of my life oh but there are sanitizers in here so cool so what happens when you put two words together hands and sanitizer sanitizers in here it's kind of funny but also really makes sense isn't this so freaking weird it feels like it's midnight or something and everything is closed and it will get back to normal soon but it won't so i said okay it's fine i didn't get anything from my parents but at least i can get it from the airport yeah maybe another time because i guess this is the only thing open so of course there is a huge queue So, as you can see, pretty much everything is closed. 
today is the 4th of July and there are actually more people than what I expected. Maybe people were starting to travel and on my way to here, met this guy that was telling me that he had a flight from London to Vienna. Oh my god, this keeps falling, it's so annoying. So he had a flight from London to Vienna and it got cancelled literally three hours before the flight. So now I'm like a bit worried if everything is gonna be okay with my flight because this year I haven't had a flight that just went okay. I actually thought that this might happen, that everything is closed. So I was like, okay, let's make lunch and let's bring it. Yeah, I'm so smart, I forgot a fork. Amazing, and as everything is closed, I can't even get it from anywhere. So this is like literally worse than not getting anything. I'm just such a genius. A little update, I found a spoon at Boots it's mono use and we don't like using single waste plastic i'm pretty sure you say single use not the single waste plastic but again this is wrong but at the same time kind of makes sense and we don't like making plastic waste but hey i have to eat my lunch here i feel like this is gonna take me a while to eat there's no coffee place that it's open which is like literally my nightmare to be honest with you <sighs> could you be a little bit more dramatic I, s I found where i can get coffee and i'm so freaking excited yes i literally started running to get coffee and i realized mm -hmm. there's no entrance because of course guess what it's opening tomorrow. The thing that I'm noticing, which I don't think I have ever heard before, is that they're announcing all the flights first in English and after that in the language, the destination. This is the first time I hear someone speaking Bulgarian in the airport. And yeah, it was the same like for Spain or for Lisbon. This is so sad. I'm basically here at the gate and I realized there's not even a vending machine to get coffee. Literally, no coffee at the whole airport. Uh, oh my god, what was this sound? Let's hear it again. Uh, uh. So now I'm gonna show you the vending machines. Water and liquids, fine. We have, so you can get any kind of sugar that you want. You can get any kind of fizzy drink that you want. You can get crisps you can get pringles but not coffee i mean what the fuck if you complain a little bit more i'm gonna go all the way to there and give you coffee just because you're becoming so annoying oh no sorry you can also get one of those useless toys and yeah no flights in here there's literally no one at least for the first time maybe in like a year or something my flight is not delayed and I'm flying with Wizz Air which is like worse than Ryanair basically. Please listen to the baby in the background. I didn't realize it back then but now that I watch this I realize it's been following me the whole journey. So excited! The first flight since like beginning of March when I flight right before all corona thing happens. I don't know why I thought that there will be some seats empty or there will be some distance between people or they will actually check if you're wearing your mask but no. Here basically I ordered an espresso and this is what I got. I'm watching this I kind of feel bad for the poor baby but at the same time I don't feel like they're supposed to travel especially during the pandemic like it's not really safe is it and I'm back home with Yonis <laughs> and this is actually the only video that I have ever since I landed but it was such an overwhelming experience because I had to fill in like this form where it says where you're going to stay in quarantine for two weeks and but they didn't want to give me this document that I'm in transit even though I called the embassy before that like just to confirm. In case some of you were wondering this is actually 
why I didn't stay in quarantine the time when I was in Sofia. I'm actually filming this from Greece, so if you want to see how is tourism in Greece, food, about life, I would love to make these videos for you. And again, don't forget to subscribe, it really means a lot to me. Bye! Love you loads!